Hi, my name is Andrea. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how I build this bicycle cart. Enjoy the episode. Well, while building the second one, I decided to build a new one to show you how I made it. First, I went to pick up lumber for the build. I'm building this out of red cedar and guanacaste wood, but you can choose any wood to build it. I recommend lightweight timber. I ripped my planks to width on the table saw and to length on the miter saw. I joined the frame with glue and 4 inch hex screws. Then I cut guanacaste pieces to build a box. I used pocket holes for most of the joinery. The sides were glued and screwed from the outside and bottom was made with pocket holes. My previous box was made the same way and it was plenty strong for the last two years. I drew the handles and cut them out with jigsaw. Then I applied sealer, left it dry overnight and the next day I drew the Aztecan pattern onto the box using projector. Barbara painted all the details, thank you dear. When that was dry I applied the lacquer finish. And onto the metalwork. I got the pieces free from construction place. The pieces were cutoffs of steel beams. The pieces I made were four pieces to sport wheels and three mechanical pieces, making possible for a trailer to turn, swivel, and pivot during hauling with bike. When I finished the pieces, I temporarily fixed them in place. Then I cut rest pieces for the frame of the trailer. The moving metal parts and that bolt have to avoid hitting the arm for the smooth operation. So I drilled near the edge of the arm. Needless to say, I made a new one from oak, it was a better choice too. Then I fixed it to the base and added 45 degree braces to add strength. Then I sanded and painted all of the metal pieces. When they were drying, I chamfered sharp edges and sanded the trailer frame. Then I applied lacquer to the frame. When it was dry, I installed 20 inch wheels. Then I assembled the moving pieces. I used washers as spacers and double nut to secure them from falling out. Here we don't have nylon threaded nut. Then I attach it to the bike axis and the trailer frame. There I use wing nut to connect and it never disconnected during the ride. Now you can see all three axes of movement possible. The only limit is turning sharp left, which was never a problem. When the trailer is not in use, I secure moving pieces with rare earth magnet so they don't get caught in chain or spokes. Finally, I attached the box with four screws and added the lovely plate. The trailer is ready to use. 
The trailer build took two days, so it's a great weekend project. And once you have it, you will love it. If you are new to my channel and if you like what I do and what you see, check my other videos and subscribe. Take care and thanks for watching.